Hi everyone, another tad, quick tadpole update. So if you guys want to have a bit of a closer look. <coughs> so it's been a couple of weeks, I believe, since the last video. Time really does fly when you're having a good time. So not much has changed like here. Yeah, they've, they've spread out more into the pond now uh, because one of their main food supplies, which was that big, um, <clears throat> big group of eggs here that didn't successfully hatch, has been completely eaten away now. So they're out now, spread themselves out into the pond to look for other sources of sustenance. So, but, uh, but looking at them close, more closely, they're still doing very, very well. If you look here closely, oh, we got a, I forgot to mention, this is my trusty assistant today, Riff. He's a nine-year-old Labradoodle. Always likes to heckle me in some way. <laughs> but if you guys look down here, without the sun glare on the surface, you might actually be able to see them a bit more clearly. They're growing steadily. They don't seem to have their back legs yet, except this one here seems to have tiny little stumps. So within the next few weeks, we should be able to see them starting to metamorphosize. So people often ask us, and if you guys look over here, actually, we've actually got a slightly older frog. You've just gone now. But you can see how quickly he can melt away into hiding like that, which is really good for a way of uh, avoiding predators. So people often ask us, could there be any more amphibian species in here? So we have seen smooth newts hibernating around the pond. So if you guys look over there, all of these areas here can be potential hibernation spots as, soon, as long as they've got something to hide under. So people often ask us, what's the difference between a frog tadpole and a newt tadpole? So uh, newt tadpoles tend to be a lot brighter in colour once they first emerge from their eggs. Uh, <clears throat> they also have brighter eyes than frog tadpoles. They look very similar in the early stage. Uh, they both have very feathery gills. Uh, but tadpoles of the frog, will, to, as, as we've seen already, will shrink their gills into their body over time and cover it with a layer of skin. Uh, newt tadpoles, however, <coughs> and later in their development, will still have their gills, look, make them look like, a bit like a, uh, a dragon of mythology, and grow four legs, which will be a trademark into their adult form. Which is a really fascinating thing. So with that being said, it is entirely possible that we could have newts in here. But well, because they only come up to breathe every once in a while when they're, when they're adults, they could be in there keeping a low profile. But we'll keep you guys updated about that. Yeah, anything to add, Riff? Yeah, I love you too, mate. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. Thanks so much for listening as usual and have a fantastic day.